The Terre Haute High School community is hoping to give back with the groundbreaking of their new field house. Good evening, I'm Chelsea Jones. The facility is in honor of Maddie Potts, a three sport athlete that some would call a hero. Maddie unfortunately died unexpectedly back in 2017. But as 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer tells us, today was about remembering who Maddie was. Brittany? Well, Chelsea, family and friends describe Maddie Potts as kind hearted, caring, and someone who constantly uplifted others. And today marked the start of the construction on the field house that will forever hold her legacy. Stephanie and Daniel Potts blown away on the day they would be celebrating their daughter's 21st birthday. It's overwhelming that she's gone, but it's even more overwhelming how this community just doesn't give up. Family, friends, and teammates broke ground on the Maddie Potts Memorial Field House. Maddie was just 17 years old when she suddenly died on the soccer field from a brain aneurysm in 2017. My biggest fear after I've already lived the worst is that someone's going to forget her. But Stephanie Potts tells us that fear was far away today. In just three years, the Maddie Potts Foundation and community raised $800,000 to build a 3,000 square foot facility at Cheriho High School to keep Maddie's legacy alive. Just really speaks to the effect that Maddie had on people, not just because she died, but because of the way she lived her life. And it's just really a celebration about Maddie and what she was able to do and accomplish. Teammate and friend Emily Feastamil hit a shovel into the ground Sunday. She tells us it's overwhelming seeing the space where her friend's name will be permanently. She was always a bright soul. She always had a smile on her face. Every practice, every game, she gave 111 percent. Every day she woke up, she chose to fight, and she fought till her last seconds on the field. She just included everyone in everything. She made everyone feel like family. It's kind of overwhelming to see it all coming together like this, but it's also awesome. And the Maddie Potts Foundation says the field house is expected to be completed by this fall, which will mark four years since Maddie passed. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.